Hey guys, Happy Oblivion 903 here once again, and welcome back to part 3 of Resident Evil Revelations 2, episode 2. As you saw in the last part, one of our teammates, Pedro, eh, became one of those mutant things, whatever you want to call them. Eh, it turns out that the virus responds to fear, so the more scared you get, um, once you get too scared, you basically become one of them. So obviously that's something to bear in mind, hopefully Claire isn't a little scaredy bitch, but she doesn't seem to be, she survived a lot in her lifetime, so we should be good. But anyway, we're going to move on now, we've managed to escape all of them. And uh, let's see what uh, this next part's got in store for us. So right, here we go. Pedro said the signal came from high up. That's got to be it. That tower thing. Right, it looks like we're in some sort of town now. It would make sense as just a little while ago we did pick up a town map. We should wait for dawn. By dawn, we might all end up like Pedro. The clock's ticking, Neil. That's very, very true. So, right, we've got the objective to head to the tower. Uh, let's get to this. Oh, no. Dogs. Or whatever you want to call them. Mutant dogs. Not a good thing. Right, there we go. Took care of one of them, at least. Where's he at? Little thing. Oh, he's a sneaky little thing. Why am I wasting so much ammo on that thing? Hopefully more don't come, because I'm nearly out. Oh no, I've got some handgun ammo, that's good. Right, I don't know if this is the right way. Fingers crossed it is, there's some more of them. Right, I think that's that one taken care of. Thankfully not as tough as the other one. So right, we need more of this crowbar. Right, here we go. Let's go. Oh no, there's more of them. Hopefully Clay can hold them off and he doesn't affect us. Let's just get this open, let's get this uh, done, let's get out of here. Come on, Claire, sort it out. Oh, no. Not done yet. Things are not going too good at the minute. Right, let's get a herb used. There we go. Right, it's going to go back to use a Moira now, and I'm going to use a uh, crowbar and try and open this door. Hopefully get us to somewhat safety, because uh, we haven't been safe once so far. Uh, fingers crossed we get a little bit of peace. But right, let's go through this door here. Oh, no, it doesn't sound good. Right, we've got some more machine gun ammo there. It's definitely needed. Uh -oh. oh, no. Can't be done with this. Right, let's get Moira up there. Let's hopefully she can do something just to get us out of this mess. Right, here we go. Let's see what she can do. I was going to try to boost us up. That's always one good thing. Bit of distance between, especially height. Neil. Oh no, here they come. Come on, Neil, let's get out of here. Alright, fair enough. That'll do me fine. As long as I'm safe, I don't care. Right, let's get out of here. Fuck Neil. Right, some alcohol there. No idea what that does. Hopefully we just get pissed. Probably need it this moment in time. Right, there's a cloth there. Right, so we made a firebomb. So that would do us just fine. That would, yeah. I think we're about good. That would do. So right, here we go. Going to move on now. Fingers crossed this tower's not too far away. And then we can find out what the hell is going on. Right, it sounds like possibly a radio or some sort of TV or some sort of talking going on. Oh no. What a place to be chilling out. Oh no, here he comes. Whoa, that was a bloody assault. Oh no. Hopefully that's enough to take care of him. Unfortunately, I've got no ammo. Right, I've got to go all knife. I have to go all badass on this motherfucker. Right, come on. Nearly got rid of him now. There we go. Knife attack. That was pretty badass. 
But unfortunately, my ammo is done for. Right, where's this go? Oh, what's this here? Oh, this could be nice. Right, to find out what this is. Oh, it's a new shotgun. Oh, yeah. Let's see you fight me now, bitches. Right, here we're going to exit this building. Let's try and head close at this tower. Let's try and get it done. Where They're here. Be careful. Oh, shit. This is not a good situation to be in, guys. I don't know what other option we have except to take these guys out. I don't know if we're going to be able to sneak past them. Oh, I really hope we can. Oh, shit. He's going to see us. Can we sneak attack on these? Can we stealth kill them? Oh, I think we can. Oh, that makes life so much easier. Oh, thank God we did that. Right, let's get stocked up with ammo. Right, that's that big dude taken care of. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, no, there's a dog. Oh, no, he had to go spoil the fun. Oh, he's only got one of these guys to take care of now. Right, let's pump some ammo into this guy. Let's get him taken care of. Right, so there's a zombie there. There we go, headshot, taken care of them. That was a damn sight easy than I thought it was going to be. Oh, thank God. That made this whole situation a lot better. So, right, let's move these things out of the way and let's get on this bus. Right, this takes you back to Resident Evil 2. But right, there we go. We managed to get past that section. Oh, is that? Oh, it's, it's uh, the girl from Barry's chapter. Yeah, we saw her in the prison. Right, let's follow her. 